So I went with my two cousins, Dan and Will, to film some climbing at Jockey's Cap in Freiburg, Maine. We had a few objectives for this trip, to give Dan's son Will some climbing time as a beginner, to give myself an opportunity to practice shooting a new type of subject, climbing footage, and finally, Dan's a registered Maine guide, and I'm an outdoor educator with similar training. Some of you have also been expressing interest in taking part in some kind of classes or guided activities. So Dan and I have been thinking of ways we might be able to offer up some kind of calendar in the future that lets people sign up and learn a new skill or more about their surroundings. Jockey's Cap is an easy day hike that is family friendly and accessible just minutes from the trailhead off Route 302 in Freiburg. It's only about an hour and 20 minutes from Portland, Maine coming up Route 302. Parking at the trailhead by Jockey's Cap store is limited to two hours, so be mindful of others if you choose a spot here. We parked across the street at the Freiburg Plaza so that we could spend more time on the rocks. According to mountainproject.com, there are about 24 routes with some rock scrambling and difficulties ranging from 5.6 to 5.12. So pretty winded coming up, I'm trying to be Les Stroud with the camera. We're at White's Ledge. Is this the same spot you did the other day? It's, it is. Because top rope barriers are much like gym environments where you run laps and the gear stays in, in one single place so it's, it's easy to share. The last time we were here, I had two ropes set up so we could do multiple climbs. Okay. Yeah. You'll be hiking up first to set up your top rope. You'll film me go up, and then if you go further up the cliff band, you'll find where people go up. So you're going to take a little climber take shortcut. A little fourth class scramble. So we're going to go up now. Dan's going to set up the top rope for Will. I'll follow him as far as I can. Obviously this won't give me an introduction to filming while climbing, but we'll see if we can learn some tricks of the trade. So this is where we're gonna lose Dan. He's taking the ranger's path. It's possible I could do this. If you want that cell phone mounted all early, I can give that to you before we lose each other. Sisyphus. Say, uh, not for the faint of heart, top off. One good handful. Okay. Let's try it. I'll try it. I think I gotta give you this though. Still filming? Should be. The flake offers a good hold. I think you're on it now. This is where I move to the left. Big old foothold to your left. To the left, to the left. Where that leaf is. Right there. That's a good shelf to aim for. There you go. Oh god. The danger. Let's get up to where I can. Oh yeah, here we go. Little rewarding vista. So plenty of room to uh, hurt yourself and fuck up. So you shouldn't just be doing this willy-nilly. I always like these little trees that grow up on these wind-exposed rock faces because you get a nice natural bonsai effect. Cling into the cracks. Got some day hikers. Myself, I'm unprotected, so I'm not effing around. Probably down where he is is a place I will dare not tread. So I'm going to climb up now and use my drone. And hopefully there's not a lot of people around because I always don't. I don't like flying my drone while other people are around. Some kind of little spire, monument tower thing up here. Let's go check it out. Looks like something cool, like the uh, profiles of the mountains. Let's check this out. This is cool. B-roll, activate. Perhaps it goes without saying, but day hikers, this is a nice little day hike. You don't have to be a rock climber. It's a nice little scramble, something like this. This is something any young kid or family can handle and feel like they're doing something cool. It's obviously enough where you can get hurt, so you can't be totally reckless. 
but it's safe enough to give people something to get the heart pumping, get you using all four, four limbs, and uh, yeah, come check it out. There are larger, more popular climbs just 30 minutes west of here across the New Hampshire border, but Jockey Cap offers a bit more privacy with a chance for both beginners and expert climbers to get multiple ascents in. This means more time to coach, connect with others in your company, and fit something into your schedule without as much expeditionary planning. He's all the way up, huh? Or at least he's over that face, that hump. Route complete. Nice. So what's he gonna do now, rappel down? He won't rappel, I'll, I'll let him down. Come on down. The top of this route is, is hard. There's like nothing. It's, it's absolutely nothing. It's like... Slabby face climbing. Bare bone like... Would you call it, Dan, slabby face climbing? It's, it's a face climb and it's very slabby. There are no horizontal ledges or cracks or anything. It's all to like grab. It's all vertical like stubs. So you gotta grab it like with your fingers like this. So you have to grab it like this. You have to pull yourself up. Yeah. And then a lot Little of it's like this strips. too, like pinch. You just have to tiny, tiny. It's like the face of this rock right here. Nothing much to grab onto, except little pockets and divots that you try to use with your fingertips and toes. Is that a handhold right there? Kind of. What if I... Now, right foot. Right there. Make use of that hold. Try and stand up on that right foot. And what? Scope out where your left's gonna go. I think it's right by your left hip. Yeah, I see that. Okay? You're gonna wanna try and dance those feet up to that position, and then you'll be able to stand up and slap high with your right hand. Using your left hand, your right foot. There, you, you need to go a little bit higher and get a left foot on. And I think you'll be there. Look at that. There you go. So I'm just getting a lot of practice scrambling around on foot, changing my settings on the go and minding my angles. So a lot of good practice. of like cicadas up there or something. Huge moths, I think. Yeah. It's like weird maggot things in the holes. They're just gross. That's gross. Yeah. I thought they were dead, but I touched them and they were not dead. <laughs> Dan is going up to take the top rope anchors out and we will be prepared to leave. Jammed up. Oh yeah, yep. So pretty good day of climbing and shooting. I went through a bunch of batteries. I filled some memory cards, so I don't usually do that when I go out and record something. Um, so I think I'll have the good problem of having too much footage to go through. And hopefully we'll be able to edit it down into something entertaining and educational for you. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Lots of little families hiked through here today. This is definitely a good spot. Lots of uh, See, there's all kinds of little boulders and things that are friendly for someone to scramble around. Maybe we'll talk about those caves next time. I don't really know the local lore. If you know about the singing caves, write something oh, in the comments. Oh man, claustrophobia. Oh. It's cool. Next time, I'd like to get yeah. more details of the equipment, which is really satisfying to the senses. I also want to get up on a harness and get some climbing time of my own while also being able to practice shooting from that vantage. Overall, I was super amped about the possibilities to come, and it leveled up my desire to try and invest more energy into offering outdoor experiences to people outside of YouTube. That was a bigger part of my earlier life, and I moved away from it with the idea that I would come back someday when I was more capable of offering something of my own design.